wine for me speaks to all of our senses. So you need the wine glass to translate the message of wine. Klaus Josef Riedel, the ninth generation of the Riedel family, was the first human to figure it out, to put something on paper, to design something that was able to communicate the message of wine. Before Klaus Riedel, a uh, beautiful stemware was made. All of them had something in common. Yeah, their shapes were tulip shapes or, or conical shaped, but none of them uh, used, as Klaus Riedel used, the egg, the egg shape. He uh, was able to capture the aromas in the glasses and created a wine-friendly stemware. I developed them a step further into varietal-specific stemware. The sommelier glass is the loudspeaker of wine. It communicates to our senses. Now, of course, we human beings have retranslated the usage of our senses to enjoy life. Wine itself carries this kind of magic and the glass is, to me, a small mosaic stone which supports the enjoyment and is uh, the in charge of giving the best in wine to our senses. So what I'm holding in my hand is the mother of all wine glasses. The glass made into the Museum of Modern Art in 1960 as a permanent collection as the most beautiful wine glass. A story which goes that my grandfather was not the happiest because for him it was not about the aesthetics. It was more about the functionality of the glass. The bowl size, shape and rim diameter are the three crucial parts of the design of a wine glass. We have engineered uh, the, and fine-tuned the bowl to uh, the point that it relates to the DNA of the grape variety. What this glass is uh, makes it so special, it's handmade, so it's fairly light. Uh, it is lead crystal, we're very proud about it to be still able to melt lead crystal glass which gives it this beautiful color it also makes the glass fairly durable. The style which Klaus developed to create thin blown uh, glasses, this is what a wine drinker expects, a glass which is at service of his beverage. It's a three-piece construction. Uh, it starts with the bowl, so you have uh, the kerbel maker and the glass blower. So it takes two people just to create uh, the bowl of the glass. So it's a pulled stem uh, and of course he also, with another drop of glass, attaches the base. A very small portion of our glasses is uh, mouth-blown, handmade, in the very old way as glasses have been made almost 2,000 years ago. We are one of the very last standing uh, handmade factories in Middle Europe. This kind of glass making as we execute it here is something which uh, I'm very impressed when I see how our people work and how precisely and how dedicated they are to create quality. My grandfather with the Sommelier line initiated an entire industry. He influenced an entire industry. And now, of course, I'm the one to carry the torch. I'm the 11th generation, and I'm the next generation to lead this business, and with it, the glass collection sommelier, possibly into the 12th generation. I have no concerns that sommelier will be uh, still in 40 years produced. Uh, and the reason is very simple. Sommelier is a tool, and tools never go out of fashion. <laughs>